Cardinals. Hey, woo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. To a new and returning subscribers, what's poppin', family? What the hell is going on? Y'all know I'm on break break, but I did decide to pop my little hands up in here because <laughs> I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm having woman issues and all kind of other shit. I'm just really just trying to steer clear of all the, um, for me, some of it has been erratic because I'm, the, the level of empathy is just off the damn charts. Okay. So I've literally, um, been just really trying to ground myself, protect my energy, and I really, really suggest family that you all do the same. I'm only taking emergency readings during this time. That information can be found within the description as the price may differ, but technically I'm on break. I will start working on your February generals um, sometime this week, actually, um, around the 25th, because we're going live on the 26th, because it's our birthday, one year anniversary of the Mocha Love Tarot channel. I'm excited, and I look forward to you guys. Um, just really having another great year. I do know as we continue to evolve, um, I'm going to lose a few people. You know, you guys are really growing. You know, you graduated. Yes, don't need me as much no more. You know, and as, you know, more people kind of go, um, more people come in. You know, I someone sent me a, a comment this morning, and I don't know, I didn't feel offensiveness from it. Um, I did feel a sense of a little manipulation, but didn't need to hear nor there. Um, but, you know, she was just stating, you know, um, I started following you some months ago or whatever, some to that extent, and um, you don't, you no longer really resonate with me anymore, and I don't have the money to get a personal reading in, you know, blah, blah, blah. I do understand that, you know, and I say blah, blah, blah with love because I don't really remember everything she said but you know with that you guys I know we're going to grow some of you guys may have been well, maybe watching tarot you know this year or early in this year then later on actually doing damn tarot for other people you guys it's about evolving no one I'm not expected for nobody to stay the same and you can't expect that from me either we're all evolving I love you long time. They don't never shift my love for you. For those of you who are still supporting me, you guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate y'all. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I love you, baby. All right. So um, this is not a regular reading. Um, This is a lunar eclipse reading. I have to check in on the zodiac to see what the hell is going on with my babies. I broke it down the elements of cardinals, fixed, and mutables. Uh, I am going to be doing Libra, Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn in that order. And then I have a, um, a general message pretty much for all of the collective, okay? So I believe I'm going to start with the collective angel message, okay? And just let you know the intuitive messages that I got for you all, all right? So let's get into it. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, Libra, Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn. If someone can please timestamp, I would truly appreciate it, y'all. Thank you so much. Love you long time. All right, so let's get it. We're going to start with, oh, the collective messages. So what you all got as a whole was gifts from God. Archangel Sandifon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. It's a time of purging in order to reign in blessings, babies. Blessings on blessings on blessings are trying to reign upon the lives of all of us, but we have to be in a place, in a position to be receptive of that and to open our hands, our hearts, our mind, our spirit. And we're doing so, first and foremost, it comes and starts with gratitude. First, be thankful for everything you already have, everything the Most High has done, is doing, and will do going forward. All right? So let's get it. The spirit say, open up. Open up. Look up, Marlon. Say cheese. <laughs> Y'all know I'm goofy. All right, so we're going to start with my Libras. Oh, Libras. Okay, so as you all know, this moon had have a lot of us really, really, really sensitive. We really need to detox, protect our energy, eat correctly, and open your hearts to and be ready and willing to um, forgive during this time because this is really a time of um, renewals, rectification. It's time we got we ascended. We we're shifting paradigms right now, and so a lot of that baggage can't move forward with us. All right, so Libras, the scales. Your message, your Archangel message comes from Archangel Ariel. What you guys pull was prosperity. 
Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So if you want it, go get it and know that that goal that you're looking for, baby, it starts from within you. Okay. So these were the intuitive messages that I did pick up for the sign of Libra. I really, really, really tuned in and everybody's going to have intuitive messages. Um, y'all please comment let me know how this resonates but it's going to y'all this is just a general it's not a personal it's not going to resonate with everybody but take what does leave the rest alright for the sign of Libra the energy around this lunar eclipse and how it's going to affect you in some of the areas that or some of the things that may be surface alright as well as things that are to come and to look forward to as this energy progresses as we are in um the midst of it, okay, as today is the 20th, all right, um, it is now, I believe, 9 o'clock or something like that, 8.30, something like that, so um, the moon is very potent right now, all right, so with that, what I got for Libras was confidence, manipulative, restructure, stability, trust, revelations, values, and I got, I'm sorry, okay? So some of you guys were maybe either um, giving or receiving apologies from people during this time. I feel that there were situations where, Libra, you just had an all-knowing of some things. And um, things may have been revealed around that January 5th, uh, the first eclipse in Capricorn, I believe. Or I believe that was a, what was that, y'all? A little thing was a new moon in Capricorn or it could have been Aquarius. I'm not an astrologer, so y'all gonna have to help me on that part. I don't really keep up with the actual, um, like what, what moons or what. I just know when the new moons and the full moons are coming. But I do, I will say that a lot of things were shifting during that time. This is the time where, you know, pretty much the y'all, the veil is no more. Okay. So with that said, a lot of things will be coming to the surface, things that you actually kept hidden, emotions, you know, um, things that you kept really tight to your chest. Those things are coming out to the surface to be purged, y'all. You can't take that baggage with you. What about my book back lady? Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You gotta let it go. Let that shit go. Okay. Let it go, Libras. Let it go. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras during this lunar eclipse? And Leo. What can they expect? What are they dealing with? It's just the checking in, yeah. Some of you all. <laughs> yeah. Movement forward, okay? Some of you guys are going to be accepting that offer from the person of your dreams you manifested. Some of you guys could also be receiving some type of um, offer, of, some type of offer, or some type of assistance financially to move towards some form of a, a creative endeavor. Some of you guys are healers, and you're really needing to open up, um, open up, and use your intuition and truly, truly, truly use it in a way to help and assist others because it is going to bring some form of prosperity. I feel that some of you guys are really needing to trust your dreams during this time as they are bringing a lot of revelations and a lot of a lot of information about moves going forward all right you guys are sifting through past life karmas you're moving forward okay some of you guys are going to be some of y'all are really holding on to the emotions of possibly wanting to move forward and connect with someone who you have children with i feel like ultimately your values definitely uh revolve around structure family stability home finance having that understanding having the 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 everyday family structure, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, I definitely feel some of y'all are feeling lonely, okay? Especially if you're away from someone who you have some form of family dynamic with. Some of you guys are wanting to move forward into some type of past life union with someone. This could involve an Aquarian. This could involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially if you have children with this person. This is a past life union, okay? But I definitely feel things are being purged out during this moon cycle, uh, such as manipulation, um, deception. I heard gaslighting for some of you all. Someone could have been possibly doing a number on your confidence confidence and spirit is really trying to give you that opportunity for you to show your damn self who the fuck you are say it with your chest leave but you got me fuck you got i'm a I'm motherfucking labor what you think this is lack who confidence huh some of you guys will be purging that lack mindset because I feel like there's been so much of an, a worry around stability that it has become some form of an obsession. Some of you guys have been manifesting the return of someone, again, who you have children with. I definitely feel like for those of you who've been using your, 
who've been using these moon cycles to put out your petitions to affirm what it is that you want. I definitely feel that this moon is going to be one um, that can work strongly for you um, as far as the law of attraction. For those of you who have been trying to manifest having a baby, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I feel that if who, whomever I'm talking to, you could be on the outs with your partner right now. Uh, this person could have moved away, uh, thought the grass was greener on the other side, but you will be getting revelations about there being divine intervention to actually assist in this union here. But you're really needing to purge those insecurities, okay? You guys got to move past um, that thing or that feeling like I'm not good enough, what I do not have. This could involve a Pisces. Strong emphasis of Pisces, Aquarius. I also see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I don't see too much air except for Aquarius, but I do see fire, okay? Fire, water, and earth, all right? So that's what I have for my Libras. Spirit, what is the outcome of this message here? What is the outcome of this message? Yeah, successfully moving forward, okay? For those of you who could have moved away from someone who you had kids with due to this person kind of not really wanting to open up, not really just want to move at the pretty much wanted to just take their damn time and move turtle fucking slow and offer these offer a half ass offer some of you guys are going to be able to express yourself and this person is going to be opening up during this time and i do see commitment okay for those of you who are in a relationship with the Taurus person i do see things actually moving forward this person getting on the same page as you something about the number seven this could be in seven days um seven weeks. I don't feel seven months. I don't feel that that's going to go out that long, but I do see something about the number seven, or this could be a completion to a cycle of stagnancy, and now you're able to move forward, all right? This don't necessarily have to be a Taurus. This could also be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, again, um, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio. Some of y'all are going to move. If you move, if some of you guys, some of y'all are manifesting love in your life, and you have an earth sign, strong emphasis on Taurus, uh, but you could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and this person is coming into your life very, very, very fast around these around this particular moon cycle on the energy within it. And I feel like someone's going to give you an offer after moving away from somebody else. And I feel like you're so caught up in wanting what you want from this person that you're not really seeing that you're going to get everything that it is that, that you need. Okay, that you desire that fulfills you from this new person if you choose to move forward. Okay, the choice is truly up to you, but I, I strongly feel that you really need to trust the process and things will be re uh, revealed to you during these moon cycles as well during these solar as, as well as lunar eclipse uh, through your dreams, baby. All right. All right. So that's what I have for the sign of Libra victory moving forward. Prosperity, baby. Good shit, Libra. I, I, I'm so excited. I feel so like, even though I don't feel great, I feel good. You know, I feel damn good. Um, but yeah, some of you guys could also be, some of y'all could also be, hold on, let me go back to Libra for a second. Libra, some of y'all could also be keeping your feelings to yourself due to children. Spirit wants you to actually be confident in speaking your truths and just knowing that, you know, you don't have to have that fear of sticking with somebody due to the fact that you don't think that you're going to be prosperous. Believe in divine intervention and believe in miracles I'm hearing. All right. All right now. So we're going to move on to my Aries Ram Gang. We in this in this thing, Ram Gang. All right. Libras. Come on, Libras up. All right. Libra. All right, gang, gang. <laughs> hey, turn up now. All right, so the messages, oh, the archangel message that I got for my Aries was nurture. Okay. I got your message comes from Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now, okay? So some of you guys, straight up off the ribs, uh, a spirit is saying uh, revelation of pregnancy. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant. Some of you guys, uh, and congratulations, Mocha love the kids, but I definitely feel an energy of starting over new starts, okay? Some of you guys, you, there's a focus. I, when I got to your energy, I strongly feel very drained. Some of y'all, and I know I'm an Aries myself, so we had a tendency to do this. I feel like you're doing too much. If you put that same damn energy that you put into worrying about other people into your damn self, life will be rolling so much smoother for you, okay, for us. Because I can't point the damn thing. I'm like, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Shit. <laughs> okay, but you know, I'm going to tell the truth about my shit. Hey, hey. Hold on, y'all. Let, 
we like to say it. Let me like to say it. Let me like to say it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so Aries, the intuitive messages that I got for you all were rectify, releasing ancestral wealth, healer, reunion, truth, belief, travel, faith, congratulations, take care, an apology okay so during this time of God a lot of you guys could be receiving apologies from people all right but I definitely feel like how you respond okay how these people come at you and how they react is their karma okay how you respond is yours and that's very important to someone all right it definitely hit home for me but spirit is really really talking the things are coming in very fast so if i talk fast y'all forgive me all right um even with ancestral some of you all also may be finding out um i'm i I'm, and y'all i'm no shade I am hearing um, legalities, paternity. So some of you guys could also be going through paternity tests. But some of you all I'm hearing not seeing coming. You're not even going to see it coming. But some of y'all could also be receiving something in the mail. Um, you need to have faith, all right? Some of you guys, even with this whole reunion, I definitely feel the energy of reconciliation. Some of y'all could have actually moved away from somebody and finding out that you're pregnant, so you're having to kind of go back. But you need to go back with a new attitude. I feel like this time alone should have given you this this time alone should have given you enough time for you to truly, truly, truly discern what it is that makes me happy, what fulfills me, what I want to focus on, what is it that I need in my damn life, who I want in my life, who didn't make the goddamn VIP list to move forward in 2019 with me, who asked, I just can't stand, they draining as hell, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to give them some type of somebody's phone number that can help them because I don't answer Jesus's main line. I mean, Aries, you really need to get serious right now, baby. Okay. And really, really express how you feel without holding on to that guilt of hurting other people's feelings. Yo, and you would not think I'm talking to an Aries, you know, but because I am an Aries, that's the part of us that people really don't really give us credit for is the fact that we may be that we like the sweetest assholes ever. Like, don't get it twisted. We, I will bite your fucking head off. But at the same time, my heart is so damn big that I would help sew it back on and then cry with you and tell you where you fucked up at for having me have bite your head off. We feel horrible saying no to people. You know, I feel the Aries are very, very, very misunderstood, you know, but that's a whole different video for a whole different day. Uh, during this uh, lunar eclipse, a lot of you guys, this is a time of purging. Like I told Libra, you can't take that boop, 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 ooh, ah. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You guys got to release during this time, all right? And a lot of you guys, you're really needing to put that same energy that you put in other people and yourself. There is a strong emphasis on that. Some of you guys really need to take care of your health during this time. Spirit is saying you're ignoring your health. Go your ass to the doctor. If you got a little slight cough, because, you know, let me tell you something. During this break, I have not been feeling my damn greatest. But I cut my damn phone off and decided make it made it made a corporate decision made by me, okay, that I was gonna take care of me. I understand there's a lot of people that depend on Mocha. Could you do this? Could you do it? But understand this: if I'm not right, I can't get nobody else right. You first, okay? We are the energy of the self. Never forget. Some of us have. Have, have really lost that aspect of ourselves, all right? I'm also hearing congratulations. This could also be with the children energy that I'm feeling. Some of you guys are moving into new homes during this time. Um, some of you guys could also be receiving apologies. Some of y'all is like, why the fuck is people coming back? Oh, no, you coming back too? Oh, no, run for cover, run for cover, run for cover. Understand that just as people came in your life as your karma, understand that, you know, some of these damn people, a lot of karmics, I'm hearing karmics, Divine partnerships as well will be coming in to rectify situations in order to move things forward. You're getting what it is that you desire. You're getting what it is that you ask for, Aries. But I feel like there's a focus for you to truly, truly, truly take the time to sit still for one second and truly think it over before you make an impulsive decision. Truly feel your way through. Okay? A lot of you guys are really need to protect the energy during this time as well. 
Some of you guys may, re- may, may be receiving um, some type of opportunity, job opportunity, entrepreneurial opportunity, um, some type of creative endeavor, um, cre- creative opportunity, some type of endeavor that's going to allow you to travel. And I feel that a lot of you guys, if you are questioning that and how it's going to affect everybody else, this and that and that and that, some of y'all are literally, literally being pushed off that cliff as their real life food cart. But I feel like there's a fear of the unknown that's releasing Aries. And I feel that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So during this time, be grateful. Take the time to truly, truly, truly reflect on where you've been and don't allow anybody to stand in the midst of your way with their own fucking projection of their fears to, on, on to you in in, the, in in your or their lives to prevent you from moving forward. Do you understand? You have done the work. It is time to reap the great reward, Aries. All right? All right. Spirit, what messages do you have? For Aries during this lunar eclipse in Leo, what is it that they're needing to know? What we needing to know? Yeah. Some of you guys, okay, some of you guys could actually, um, some of y'all during this time are really going to stand firm in your beliefs. Some of y'all could actually be cutting or putting commitment to the side during this time. Some of y'all could also be cutting off the sign of Taurus or cutting off someone who, some of y'all could actually be calling off engagements during this time. I feel like, and some of y'all could also be very firm. I feel like, what's that song by Ella Mayo? If you, mm, 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 tell that, mm, mm, bag that. Hey, if you're not going to commit to me, I'm not going to, you're not going to stay in my life for four and five damn years just being your girlfriend. I'd be damn. All right. I'm not going to do wifely shit for a fuck boy. We're, we're, we're standing, standing firm. There is a releasing of holding that shit. If you feel it, say it, Aries. Say it because some of y'all are dealing with people who are not damn mind readers, okay? Some of y'all, some of you guys have been manifesting, asking spirit to show you the truth. Oh, and it's going to be revealed during this time. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you may find out that this person could be um, actually dealing with a water sign or someone who they had a turbulent past with. Or this could be you, Aries, juggling somebody that's an earth and a water sign, all right? You just really want what you want, but watch what you do in order to get it during this time, Aries, because you do have other people who can be affected by this, all right? But some of y'all, you could be finding out that the person in your dreams, the person who you were engaged with, the person who you were committed with, I definitely feel like there's a sense of newness, but the damn towers got to fall. All hell got to break loose before this new energy come in. And I feel like, Aries, a part of you felt it, and a part of you already knew that you was going to have to do some type of restructuring. But maybe there's this fear of you being alone because of the work that you've already put into a situation. I definitely feel like there's this strong feeling of independence here. However, you're going to have to make a decision on is the relationship or is the situation worth working it out with, okay? Some of you all who were juggling um, making a decision, okay, between actually choosing commitment and actually being single, all right? I definitely feel like some of y'all are going to choose to be single. It is going to hurt someone's feelings, but at the end of the day, you work got- goddamn hard to be where the hell you at. So I don't feel that you're really completely cutting this person off, off, but I feel like you're putting it on hold so that you can prevent someone's feelings, uh, someone's feelings from really being just broken, all right? Some of y'all, some of y'all could actually have um, a cancer or a Taurus person who you are, who I feel this is some form of commitment, okay? I feel like after really, really kind of on the cool pulling out your damn sword, Aries, some of y'all gonna pull your sword out during this time. And I feel like you're gonna stay, your ass going, you're gonna get right or you're gonna get left. Period. All right? Ain't no in-betweens. Some of you guys, especially when it comes, yeah, some of y'all are gonna find out that someone's going back to a family situation where they have, where they have, where they have, who they have some type of children with. I feel like this person is a soulmate. All right? If you're dealing with the earth sign, this person could actually have an issue juggling you and another soulmate. I feel like if this person has children with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign person, um, Aries, just be ready so you ain't got to get ready. But there is a new a new relationship on the horizon for you all. I definitely feel that something is there. There's going to be another fire sign. Aries feels that it's very strong emphasis on Leo that's coming in extremely fast, catching you off guard and really wanting to manifest all of that newness with you. Some of y'all, it could also be the news about children or having children, especially if you're dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, there could be news about new children or pregnancies, okay, Coming in for you guys during this time, and I feel like if you, for those of you who were juggling a soul, juggling two soulmates, spirit is going to decide for your ass during this time. 
Okay, period. Because I feel like Aries, some of y'all are not making a decision. And for some of you all, you're going to choose love. All right. Some of y'all are going to, um, some of y'all, this damn person don't want to get left. So they're going to get right. Shit. What you think this is? All right. For some of you all, you could have actually cut someone off and walked away from somebody. And again, that's who I was speaking to you people. All right. Um, who are dealing with the with the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or damn Leo. You could have left somebody. And you're going to find out that, um, Hey, we having a baby. So look, we got to work this shit out. All right. And I do feel this person is going to, um, this person is going to be open. As a matter of fact, one of you, you or this other person was actually trying to manifest this. But again, Aries, the tower got to fall. Hell got to break loose. All right. For newness to come. All right. For newness to, um, be welcomed into the, into the union. All right. But there will definitely be secrets revealed around this. This, this moon is going to illuminate some shit. And for some of you all, you're going to find out that someone has been given to two situations to yourself as well as an outside family situation. Or it's like somebody is like playing house elsewhere in areas you're releasing yourself from third party situation shit. I'm done with the shit. As soon as you do, bam, ace of cups, bam. New love. Bam. Moving forward. Bam. Standing in your damn truth and actually creating. For those of you who have your own business, business look damn good. All right. We got to leave that lag mindset in 2018. This is a new year, new shmoney, new shit. All right. For those of you who, um, oh, y'all, this is beautiful. Some of y'all, you have a new love that is a Aries, Pisces, Libra, um, Taurus, Virgo. Divine union, though. Beautiful, Aries. Beautiful. But you're definitely moving forward, all right? Definitely moving forward, accepting new offers, taking things slowly, and focusing on the things that really matter to you, which is that coin, positive, unconditional connections, truthful connections, loyal connections, and really, really, really focusing on the health aspect, your mental health, physical health, emotional health, and protecting your energy during this time. Period. All right. You guys are spiritual teachers. You are healers. For those of you who have been waiting for um, this damn Pisces, Libra, uh, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer to come back, hit ass, come be open to receive, be open to love, be open to pushing, pushing that damn ego to the side and accepting that offer if you want it. Yeah, they did that. But God damn it. Yesterday was yesterday. Would you want to be judged if you made a mistake? Sometimes we got to fucking get left to get right. And in somebody's case, Aries, it's worth it. All right. So I love y'all. This is what I have for my Ram gang. All right. During this lunar eclipse. Let's get it. Let's eat it. All right. That's it, Aries. All right. Who's next? Cancer! Let's get it, Cancers. Cancers! Alright, so the messages that my Cancers pulled was moon cycles. First and foremost, when I got to channeling you guys' energy, let me first say that I, my ears began to ring, okay? Um... I, I literally had like a whole moment where I felt like I wanted to cry, but a part of me wanted to cry, but it wasn't from a place of sadness. It was from a place of joy. For some of you all, it may be a place of sadness, but during these moon cycles, you're really needing to protect your energy as, as, as it is hella sensitive, okay? Um, also, the, I also heard dreams with you all, and I also heard past life recognition. So some of you guys could actually be uh, kind of shifting Shifting between this life and past life, and I feel like it's more so um, an explanation of the things that's going on around you from spirit to help you trust your intuition a bit more. Because some of y'all think y'all tripping, all right? You're not tripping. These moon cycles are really <laughs> affecting you, my babies, all right? Your message comes from Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. You all are really needing to really get into get in tune to what what the, the the feminine and the masculine aspects of the moon okay um and see how it's affecting you when you're working with a masculine moon those moons like this like this lunar eclipse in leo yes better know i've been um actually manifesting for my business to be prosperous okay for it to grow i've been manifesting expanding on other endeavors all right so yeah, what, what what am i doing under this damn moon cycle 
manifesting is doing. I'm working. You understand? So with that said, use these moon cycles to your benefit. If it is, for example, a moon, let's say a new moon or a full moon in Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, you know, fire signs are about movement. All right. Most of us operate from that fucking um, from that sacral chakra. We don't think about it. We just do it. You understand? Be like Nike right now, cancer. Just do it. Tomorrow may never come. Later may never happen. Do it right now. If you felt it, you felt it for a reason, all right? So these moon cycles, <clears throat> Archangel Haniel says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize up on these cycles. Capitalize up on these cycles, Cancer. Capitalize up on these cycles. Now is the time to write your um, incantations and to do your incantations. Now is the time to put up your petitions. Now is the time to actually not only write that shit down, but if you're trying to start a business, let's say in graphic design, all right? Today should have been the damn day. This during these two, three did during this week is the week. Go get you some business cards for your graphic design company. Take your ass to the courthouse and go get your LLC and let's move on. You understand? Momentum. Because rather you like it or not, if you choose to make the decision, not to make the decision, spirit gonna make the move for you. And it's going to be in your best benefit later. You are cardinal. Let's move. Okay? So the messages that I got for my babies, the Kansas, was intuitively I got renewal, spiritually heightened, self-esteem, envy, revealing, good fortune, forgiveness, releasing, new start. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 ooh, ah, ah, let it go, let it go, let it go, water, baby, let it go, all right, if it does not serve your highest good, if it will not help you grow, it got to go, let the good Lord hit you, let the dough hit you with the good Lord to the split you, it got to go, okay, it got to go. If there is going to be a time, um, this is a time uh, to um, actually reflect on your past, not for the negative, but to go back and truly, truly forgive. Allow the emotions that you feel, because a lot of you guys may be extremely sensitive. You may be crying for no apparent reason. You're not understanding what the hell is going on. Some of you guys are telepathically connecting um, to your divine counterparts as well. Some of y'all also have a tele telepathic connection to your karmics as well. Some of you guys can't physically see someone getting their karma, but you're emotionally attached to that person um, to the point where you can kind of feel this person. Some of y'all have people straight up infiltrating your damn dreams. It's just like, God damn, can I dream in peace? Shit, I couldn't even date your ass in peace. You leave and you still get on my damn nerves. But there is a, a releasing of that during this time, Cancer. <laughs> Some of you guys, I feel that self-esteem, all right, is preventing you guys from going out and living your best life. Some of y'all um, could want to uh, do some type of like artistry. Some of you guys could want to paint. Some of you guys could want to sing. And I feel like you're damn good at what you do. However, it's like if only you could see yourself the way that others see you, but you want to give yourself that opportunity to show yourself just how grand, how great, how, how damn voluptuous, how beautiful you are. Because you're focusing on the negative aspects of how people are going to take you, but what if they take it positive, Cancer? But you'll never know if your ass ain't going to do it. Don't nothing come to a dreamer but a dream, baby. Go live your dream. Spirit is saying now is the time. Right now. Not tomorrow. Right now. It is going to bring you good fortune. It's going to bring you good fortune. Oh shit! Oh, it's got me screwed up, screwed up, screwed up, screwed up. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. All right, spirit. What messages do you have for my cancer? Yep, indecision. All right, there's a releasing of indecision. You guys, it's time to make a move. You know, it's like that fear of the unknown. I feel with you all. That is that. The, come on now, somebody. That is coming to a close. Some of you guys are really in your head, possibly about 
Do I go? Do I stay? Especially if you're dealing with the sign of Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Some of y'all could also be uh, receiving some form of communication of someone who's juggling, all right? If those of you who are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, if you were uh, if you were not aware or if you were just 100% sure, Spirit is saying you're not trusting your intuition, all right? Especially if you're married to this person. Some of y'all could actually be juggling someone or have someone juggling you who are who is married. Some of y'all could also be going through some type of legal situation or legal case, all right? But I feel that this could, yeah, this could also involve um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a fire sign. Or you have someone who you're married to juggling yourself in an earth sign. I feel that you are on the brink of a new beginning. Again, that good fortune. If you get out your damn head and on your damn feet and actually move forward into this new cycle that you're indecisive about having this fear of change about, it is going to materialize in a massive, beautiful way. It is divine. Your blessing. Can't nobody take that shit. You see this? My light is fucked up, but some of y'all eyes work better than mine. You see this? You see this divine? You see this heavenly this heavenly covering of what belongs to you? It's yours. Can't nobody take what's yours unless you make the free will decision not to go get it. Okay? For some of you all, yeah, for those of you who are going through any type of child support, any type of legalities, okay, or any type of like uh, dividing of assets um, before going into a due cycle, it does look good for you financially, all right? Y'all, some of y'all going to actually get a front row seat to somebody getting a damn karma for their sneaky shit that they've done, all right? Some of you guys, especially if you were dealing with someone um, who have kind of been keeping things to themselves. Cancer, a lot of y'all dreams are very revealing during this time. Some of you guys are really, really, really needing to stop resisting change. Stop resisting what you know spirit is literally trying to yank out your damn hands. Hank, it's no need to hold on to some shit that does not benefit you. Why? It is no benefit. Why? If you don't wake up every morning... And look at somebody and they look at you back and they I'm thankful. You thankful for that person and you know in your in your heart of hearts that they're thankful for you and you know damn well you got people who out here cancel who you overlooking who you not even you you don't want to see them because you wanna stay you wanna stay with your damn hands on over your damn chest, covered up your damn heart and having to stay in this damn place of, or probably dealing with somebody who's straight. I'm hearing get out your feelings. With somebody telling you get out your feelings. Why I'm cancer? If you understand my damn energy, it's the beautiful feelings that I bring to, to that I bring the beauty and the substance to things with. Them damn feelings. The people who love and support you don't tell you get out your damn feelings. Shit, we want we here for all of it. You know why? Because that love is unconditional. Unconditional love don't. God ain't the author of confusion. So anything following that that heavenly vibration ain't gonna leave you like this. I don't know. Mm, cancer, it's time to go. If the ass can't get right, the ass can get left. And if they do, that fear of, well, what am I going to do? Uh, you're going to victoriously move forward and be victorious in everything that you that you smell, see, touch, feel? Call you the golden child. Cancer, the real golden child. You understand? You the damn magician. You can manifest everything that you want. And guess what? Spirit say you deserve it. You deserve it. Some of you guys have a new start trying to take place with a Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, it's a damn Libra. For some of y'all, this could be, um, hold on. Some of y'all, this could be Leo. Some of y'all, this could be Aries. Oh, damn it. Spirit straight up said, no Sagittarius, ain't that some shit? Spirit say no Sagittarius, okay? For some of you all, you could find out that someone could have came in to kill, steal, and destroy. That was their intention all damn alone. Somebody came in, some of y'all going to find out somebody came in to use you and they fell in love on the low. But it was easier for them to juggle you instead of being vulnerable. And now they shit hitting the fan, but they don't stop the door. They don't stop cancel's damn door of blessings from them opening up. That ain't got nothing to look, look like Kermit say with the, with the teacup. Uh, that is none of my business. Do you understand? Let me walk on up into these blessings, honey. Shit, let me, let me, <laughs> let me move on forward and let me, let me pick up my pieces and shit. Get them, grab my coin and move on forward to this new, new. Okay. Cause this situation here is keeping me stuck and stagnant. 
keeping me in this energy, feeling like I got to fucking fight. I got to fight you all the time. I have, I, have to have, I have to live in war. That's not living, baby. Release yourself. Spirit say, I'm trying to give you happiness. I'm trying to give you peace. I'm trying to give you serenity. I'm trying to rain massive blessings in your life. But this motherfucker can't sit at your table. Them fake motherfuckers that talk about you and then smile in your damn face, but they stories just keep happening to get back to you even when you go to sleep. They hit some of these people, inf them fake ass friends, infiltrating your dreams. Some of you in the past life, you had an issue with, okay, this is why they said no Sagittarius. <laughs> this is the energy that came up around that damn Sagittarius. This is a past life partner. Some of y'all could have children with this person, but you fucking tired. Cancer, look at this man. Look at his face. I'm going to find a good view of this shit because you got to see this face. He's fucking tired. I have blood, sweat, and tears. Made these damn pinnacles grow out this little ugly ass bush. You can see him. You can see my labor. You can see what I'm doing. Yet it's still not enough. Some of you all, some of y'all need financial assistance from someone who you have children with. Okay, I feel that you feel that they're not doing, you are going to get your just fair due. Some of y'all uh, may just make sure that if you are taking someone to court, I definitely feel that make sure that you are on the up and up because if the intention is not coming from a pure place, yet it's coming from a malice place, cancer, this justice will not work in your favor. Make sure it's pure. Some of y'all are releasing this past life karma with this damn Sagittarius who come, <laughs> who come to kill the kill. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. And then move on by his motherfucking business. Okay? Some of y'all could also be finding out that if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person could have uh, included you in a third party situation. Okay? With possibly another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right? But for some of you all, you could actually be dreaming this. All right? Some of y'all... Um, some of y'all could also have seen your future going forward. Just You just didn't see this person there because spirit is God. God is trying to tell you something. Just before you have to spend some bail money. Okay, let it go. Let it go. Some of you guys. Some of you guys could be receiving your fast communications about someone with outside children. And do, this is how you just choose how you choose to look at it. This is the catalyst situation for you to free yourself from some shit that you've been trying to control to hold on to. It's been breaking your heart and your damn feelings to hold on to the shit. Whether you let it go or you hold on, it hurts. It's going to hurt regardless. Let the towels fall, honey. Let all hell break loose. Cut this shit off. Move forward and sit in your fucking power. Because you moving away from it, cancer, cancer, moving away from this shit, moves you right to what it is that you desire. Sometimes what we want ain't what we need. It was what we needed for the time being to teach us what it is that we are truly worth. Say thank you. Throw your Nikes on and run like hell. And make sure you do your little dance and get you a little margarita on your way. To victory, okay? You're gonna need it, right? So that's what I have for my cancers. I love y'all, babies, right? So we moving on, we moving on to copy. I pray y'all time stamping, please. Please, 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 so for my Capricorn, the Archangel message that you guys pulled was Relationship Harmony. Your message comes from Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflict are being resolved now. Okay? So for some of you all, same shit. I feel there's a there's a completion going on, Capricorn. Completions. I don't feel that 
it is necessarily full endings. I just feel like it's completions with the way that things were being done um, with people, places, things in your life, um, and the way that you were allowing things to, pretty much the way you was allowing people to handle you for real, because the energy that I felt with Capricorn was really, it was hurt, but it was more so like sighs of relief, like finally, uh, peace is. All right, so let me see. Your intuitive messages, Capricorn, was facing fears, shocked, controlling, confront, communication, legalities, new love, divine intervention, wow. creator, legacy, wealth, genetic, okay? So some of you guys could be focusing on leaving legacies, focusing on the things that truly matters to you. You know, when I go, what is there left of me besides my children? What am I going to leave? You know, when everything that I know about this crazy ass fucking world that we live in, when I go, I know I can't take this shit with me. What am I doing right now? Am I truly living or am I merely existing? All right. Um, I feel that there is some type of communication that is something that is going to leave you all shocked. And it has to do with uh, actually that facing the fears of the, the fear of the unknown, facing fears um, and overall, just looking, looking the thing that you just really didn't want to see in the face and truly dealing with it, okay? And not dealing with it for the sake of keeping another person or holding another person or for that matter, if this is happening to you, Capricorn, but dealing with it for the sake of what makes you happy, what makes sense, what will assist you in moving forward, what can I deal with, what can I deal with, what I'm not going to fucking deal with, all right? Some of you all... Hold on. Some of you guys could also, some of y'all have new love on the horizon. And I feel like if you are, if you are releasing something or someone right now, anything, there's divine intervention in that situation, okay? This could involve legalities, but Spirit says it's already worked out. It's already worked out. There will be fair and just decisions. I definitely feel that um, for some of you with this new love, the you trying to control the releasing of someone, um, I definitely feel that spirit is like pretty much like sending in the big dogs. Like, okay, look, let me sit in the big dogs because, you know, uh, I'm going to need you to move your ass. Move your ass, Capricorn. Move your ass, okay? Be accepting the move your ass. Don't be afraid to move your ass. And I ain't talking about shaking the face. <laughs> All right, Spirit. So, what messages do you have during this lunar eclipse in Leo? I just want to say January the 20th today. We even run into the 27th because that, uh, that that moon energy is pretty intense, y'all. Super wolf, super super blood wolf moon. Hope I said that shit right. Super wolf blood moon. Something I could have. I was a little dyslexic growing up. Could have been moved backwards. Whatever, whatnot. <laughs> the message that you have for Capricorn, yeah. Some of you could definitely be working things out as it involves with you. Um, as it involves, I'm sorry. As it working it out with someone, um, revolving around children. All right. Some of y'all have a life purpose, y'all, with working with children as well. And I feel like <laughs> some of y'all are really not focusing on focusing on that during this time. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be um. Some of y'all could find out that while you at work, somebody be really doing the most, all right? This could be someone who you have children with, and I feel like it's going to break your heart. You're going to be really shocked, but it is going to bring you to this state of newness, to this state of new perspectives, okay? New structures, um, new new shit popping in your life. For some of y'all, this could have to do, some of y'all could also be finding out news or delivering news, having receiving or giving communication, all right, um, to someone who you are or have some type of commitment. With uh, regarding outside children, mm -hmm. this could also be someone who you're dealing with, Capricorn, telling you this. All right, some of you all could be dealing with legalities because I definitely feel that this full moon cycle. Okay, spirit. All right, so somebody, this is the, this is the kicker. 
you know, I told y'all, like I told everybody, messages come very fast. Sometimes I'm clear audience, so sometimes they'll come like one or two words, and I usually have to use the cards as like a key map to kind of guide me what the, what the, to, to what the hell I'm what, what I'm what what am I dealing with? Okay, some of you all, okay, flip. Some of y'all, I feel that some of y'all could actually be going through something with your health of some sort. And this is just a scenario that I'm feeling because I feel like this is someone who has possibly teenage children or adult children. Some of you could be married or have some type of commitment with someone. And some of you guys could actually be like on the ropes of do I move forward, anything of that nature. For those of you, someone could also be dealing with their health as well. Somebody is coming out the woodworks. I definitely feel Capricorn and Spirit is saying to control your temper. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab my motherfucking feather, honey. Just woo, hold on because shit got real. Capricorn, grab your tea, baby. You finna need it, okay? Because this is some Jerry Springer shit I'm hearing, but spirits, they go with it. So I'm a, this is for somebody, and you watch me. So, hey, I guess I have to be the, because I feel like this is for someone who is a dreamer and you're not understanding your dreams. So spirit sent me to be the confirmation upon today. This is possibly why I feel literally pulled about my bed to uh, deliver these messages. And I was going to start with fixed. I actually did fix signs yesterday. I just didn't like that video, so I deleted it. I'm gonna do it again. Um. All right. Some of y'all, I hear surprise visitor. Some of y'all, yo, yo, boo boo's ex side piece or somebody like that. Okay, could be coming to your house or coming to pretty much somebody getting real fucking close for comfort, and it could involve your child, your children, especially if this person is a Leo, okay, Capricorn, or you have children with a Leo, um, this person could be a Leo, this could also be a man, so I could be talking to a man Capricorn, uh, uh, I could be talking to a female Capricorn, but if you, if your children, and let's just be real, if your children was a third party situation, child, somebody else that had a revelation and somebody wants to get to the bottom of it, okay, this person could be a Leo. This person could also be a Pisces. Capricorn, some of y'all could also be finding out that the person that you're dealing with could actually have a third party situation going on with a Pisces um, as well as um possibly a Leo, uh, another fire sign, and it has to do with someone feeling control, feeling like they can't break free, feeling stuck, feeling like they're in bondage. Some of y'all Capricorns could also be keeping to your damn self that you got a new lover. This person could be a damn Leo, a Pisces, or a Virgo, and I feel like it's someone who's really willing to work with you and put in that effort and giving you what it is that you want. However, you don't have to hurt somebody's feelings who you possibly have a family dynamic with, yep, in order to get that, all right? Some of y'all could also be making an offer to um, a Pisces person who you have children with, and I feel like you want to renew the love during this time, all right? Some of y'all want to offer love. You want a family dynamic with an Aries. However, um, this person, you and you have a lot of passion. You're very passionate about this person. This could be a new love, okay? This could be someone. Um, this could also be a past life love as well. And this could be someone who came in your life very, very fast, but I feel like this person could actually be leaving or moving, okay? And for some of you all, it's their pride. You better. It's time to be honest, uh, Capricorn. It's time to be honest. For some of you all, um, yeah, some of y'all dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is going to tell you they're unhappy. They could have fell in love with a water sign, um, fire sign, another earth sign, Um but I definitely feel like this person wants to release themselves, all right? This could, Capricorn, some of y'all could also be releasing yourself due to third party shit. You're just like, fuck it, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to go give my cup to this damn Aries or whatnot. Because this this Aries or this Leo, because they fucking deserve it, okay? Um, <laughs> But I feel like some of you guys, yeah, some of y'all want to start a family. Some of you guys are definitely going to be... Uh, traveling to see someone or have someone traveling to see you. This could be someone who is very independent, okay? This could be someone um, in Capricorn. Some of y'all are looking at an Aries person, okay? And I feel like you look at this person, you want to start something new. You want to build a legacy. Shit, this is your legacy. I feel like there has to be an equal give and take. Someone, I feel like this, the situation is very one-sided, all right? I, um, Yeah, definitely Aries or Leo. Y'all dealing with that fire, all right? But I feel like you're kind of you're you're internally conflicted when it comes to moving forward with this love. Some of y'all got outsiders in your damn business. 
And this could have to do with that family situation. Some of y'all could also be fearing judgment with, with moving forward away from some type of like marriage or commitment or family dynamic. I feel like some of y'all are really fighting. It's that e y'all, the, the death of the ego needs to happen. Some of y'all are very prideful. But I feel like if you don't tell that person how you feel, you're gonna lose them because I feel that you're in this you're in this state of I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? I feel a very frantic energy. Okay. Some of y'all could also be having a tower moment because you feel like the person of your damn dreams, all right, is leaving you out in the cold. Some of y'all are, some of y'all got an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, finna leave your ass out in the cold. You finna have a tower moment. And I don't see that some of y'all even see it coming. Some of y'all manifested this. And I feel like it's really, it was really focusing on focusing your energy around that person, possibly leaving, possibly leaving, possibly leaving. Because some of y'all, I feel like you've been feeling it. Some of y'all get left out in the cold because either you or another person drink too fucking much. Whoa. Yeah. Somebody is really trying to manifest you, Capricorn. I feel like this could be this Queen of One, this Queen of Rods, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They really, really want to reconcile or you really need to speak your truth and let someone know that you want to reconcile. But I feel like there's a fear of being rejected, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could have cut off an Aquarian person, okay, due to third party shit. Some of y'all got a new start with a Leo, but you have, I mean, I'm sorry, with a Virgo, but you having a very hard time with moving away from possibly an air sign, possibly someone who you married with. This could also be a Libra. Some of y'all, this damn Libra, all right? Actually, is getting ready to move away from you to go start to go start new, possibly with an Aquarian. Intuitively, I feel that some of you guys have already known that there was getting ready to be a shakeup or a breakup. But I feel like someone has been trying to control it. But you only standing in your own damn way trying to control some shit. Know that things were happening for you, not to you. Because again, like I just told damn uh, cancer, look at this man fucking face. I'm tired. I'm working because I have to. All right? I'm working because I have to. I'm working because I'm a provider. But I'm fucking tired. I feel like I'm stuck here working. But never forget. In due time. In due time. I will have them in due time. <laughs> Never forget, I'm the motherfucking king of pentacles, okay? In due time, I'm being patient with myself. I'm nurturing myself. But in due time, motherfucker, I'm going to show you who I am. Some of you all, you're really needing to have more faith. And take, I'm hearing leap of faith, leap of faith. And I'm also hearing the word movement. Take a leap of faith and move towards someone. If you want someone, show them. Actions speak louder than words. Some of you all, some of y'all got an air sign person that is going to be speaking a massive, a major truth to you. They're going to be setting clear boundaries. And I feel like it has to do with some type of uh, structure with children. Also fulfillment. And I'm hearing um, fulfillment and uh, desire. Some of y'all could also be linking up with the sign of Sagittarius. Okay. I definitely feel like this this situation with this Sagittarius can move forward, but somebody got to get over the past and stop crying over fucking spilled milk in order to be accepted to this new cycle that's trying to take place. But some of y'all, this is definitely happening with another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And some of y'all, there's a third party fucking situation, baby, that's coming in. And this person was, I mean, this baby is only the catalyst to a situation that's going to bring you happiness, fulfillment, the things that you that you value the most. Structure, family. This is the start of your legacy, but you gotta be willing to sacrifice something. And that sacrifice, it definitely needs to be unhappiness. A cheat motherfucker. A lying motherfucker. A motherfucker you really can't trust because you really don't know if you should sleep with your I want one eye open and wondering if they put something in your damn food. It's time to let it go. Let go where you've been to embrace where spirit is trying to take you, baby, because it's time to win. That old shit can't come with you. Period. Okay? For those of you who are looking to invest in new business, uh, new business ventures, time, money looks great. Money looks great. 
Looks like an empire in the making. Looks like you the motherfucking king of pentacles moving to this emperor. Building empires. Leaving shit to your kids. Your kids, kids, your kids, kids, kids. Baby's mama. <laughs> Mama's mama's mama. You understand? You're going to have to tell Miss Jackson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo. I am for. Well, let me see. <laughs> I am for real. I got to go. I got somewhere to be. There is divine intervention happening here, Capricorn. Whether you like it or not, spirit is snatching the unhealthy away. Because Capricorn got somewhere to be. A divine purpose. A life purpose. Some of you all, you are, some of y'all got a, uh, some of y'all have um, a life purpose. Yeah, some of y'all could want this damn Pisces. It's Aries. I'm also seeing this lack mindset. Some of y'all are really needing to communicate more, speak your truth, stop holding things so close to your chest because it's driving you fucking nuts. And I feel like there's a big explode coming and you may say some shit that you don't mean. Capricorn, some of you guys really need to creatively write, write things down, write them down. And stop holding on to these burdens. Write them down so that you can move forward and stop feeling stuck and stagnant. Some of y'all want to move forward and actually and actually see something in the material manifest here with the Pisces person, okay? Or something that you're feeling stuck with. And I feel like it's only it's it's a battle between you and yourself because the only thing you gotta do, all you gotta do is say it. Spirit will agree with you, Cappy, you get it, babe. Open up your mind and say this. And then you can go here, go here, into this new cycle, new cycle, new cycle, okay? New cycle, new cycles. But you are standing in your own way. You ain't got to fight nobody. You don't got to fight. No, put your stick down. Put the damn, put your stick down. You don't got to fight nobody. Because what you want, wants you. It first wants you to boop, boop, in the cycle so we can get here. So understand this. If someone is pregnant, this is leading here to fulfillment. Which will ultimately lead to fear. And I already feel. You can have whatever you like. But this has to happen first. This has to happen first. If someone's trying to go, let them. And tell them thank you. Because again... I got the king and the motherfucking queen. Where she came out at? Y'all know I get down with the down down. With the down down down. Where the queen go? Where the queen queen go? Where she go? Queen? Uh, Mrs. Pentacles, where are you? The queen of rods is here too. In fact, I got a few queens in the building. Queen, where are you? So everybody's in the building. Okay, I can't find the queen because there's a lot of cards here. I was supposed to only lay seven, but, <laughs> you know, I get to my little spiel because I love y'all. So it happens like that. But anyway, the queen is here. Okay, but I, I can't find her. But either way, okay, the king is in the building. His queen's here too somewhere. I, I, I need to find her. But she's here. She came to the party. Stable offers came to the party. The truth wants to come to the party. Revelations. Good fortune wants to come to the party, Capricorn. <laughs> Solid and firm foundations. Building legacies. Family structures. Pregnancies. New babies. New homes. Movement. Trusting the process. Not being afraid to, uh, to. Not being in this fear of the unknown. Change is good. I dare you to try it. I dare you to try it. Speak your truth. If a person want to go, let them go. You understand? Capricorn, do not let pride and ego block your blessings. Okay? If you felt it, say that shit. 
If you want it, go after it. Let it, whatever it may be, know I'm interested. And you can have it because it wants you back. Happiness wants you too. You say, can Capricorn come to my party? <laughs> this ain't the misery party. We keep the motherfuckers on the, they, they, they around the corner. <laughs> they couldn't come. Yeah, security at the end of the streets and shit. They keeping them motherfuckers in that in that particular destin destinate you know the de de uh, designated area. All right, <laughs> look Capricorn, you ready to be happy? I day. All right, so this is what I have for my lunar eclipse uh, check in, y'all. For my cardinal signs, again, I'm only taking personal readings during this. I mean, uh. Only taking personal readings, only taking emergency readings as the price is different. Um, you can find all of that information within the description. And I love you a long time. Much love, much light, much abundance, many blessings, people. Love y'all, family. Bye.